It's been a long time coming and I've almost forgotten what a carp looks like as I haven't been carp fishing since Redmar which was the end of September October so it's been absolutely months since I've last gone out for carp I've been going for the pike as much as possible and really enjoying it but uh, I've always been a carp angler and I haven't had one in so long it had to be done so I'm getting all the stuff sorted taking the traces off of my rods putting the carp reels and everything back on and getting everything sorted and I can tell it's been such a long time because everything I just bung straight back in the shed from Redmar and some of it still even had the weed from Redmire on there, the same rigs that I caught my fish on. So it really has been a long time. But I've discovered I've still got quite a bit of bait, so I've been grinding up some pellet, uh, also grinding up some krill boilies, some sticky krill ground bait mix, and uh, of course, good old faithful maggots. Mixing that all up, and I'm going to make a little PVA bag mix and uh, go fishing tomorrow. I went for a walk yesterday on the venue I'm going to, and it was half frozen, but today is quite warm and as you can see I'm being bathed in glorious sunshine. So hopefully the lake will be completely thawed out by tomorrow and who knows, you might manage to have a couple of carp. But if not, it's gonna be nice getting out and I hope you guys that follow me for my carp videos are happy that I'm finally doing another carp one. So uh, I'm gonna leave you here and I'll see you tomorrow on the bank. in the swim and uh, it's a swim that a lot of you will recognize it's my favorite swim on this place it used to be called the style swim because there's a style right here it's not anymore but I still call it the style swim it's got a lovely snaggy margin I've had some really good sessions down there and also right in front of me there's a deeper bowl and actually one of my best ever sessions up here was about March it was freezing cold I had 13 carp all off that left margin a day after the place was netted so I know this ca this water can produce quite well in the winter um, whether it will be that prolific today I don't know but a few fish will be uh, lovely all the same the setups that I'm using a rod going out into midwater I've got leadless leader with a flying back lead a couple of beads on a helicopter setup and on here I'm just using a little stiff hinge with a little pink pop-up that sits perfectly on the bottom so I'm going really high visibility on the right rod and I'm going to put a few boilies around it and that's it so that's what's going out on the right rod and on the left rod, same again, leadless leader with a flying back lead, only this time I'm using an inline setup straight to what's going to be a maggot ball rig. So I've got a little hair rig, really, really simple, uh, size 8 hook. I'm going to put about 15 to 20 maggots on a bit of bait floss and put that on the end. I'll show you that when it's done. And that one's going to go down the margin with some maggots around that as well. So really different approaches, high vis and boilies on one rod and then natural maggots, balls and stuff on the left rod. And we'll see what produces. Bloody tree.
No way. I've got one in the net and the maggot rod's gone off. Up, yep. Well, we finally had to take the right rod, which is the stiff hinge with the bright pink pop up, peeled away. And uh, once that one's in the net, I was just getting stuff sorted on the camera. The left margin rod, which is the maggot rod, also peeled off. Unfortunately, that one came off, but I'm not too uh, disheartened because obviously I got one on the bank. And it's another one of those beautiful little scalies. Um, it was nailed in the corner of the mouth. I've had him resting while I got the rods back out, so you might be a bit wriggly. But these fish are absolute stunners. And uh, I don't really care what size they are when they're coming out like this. But that's uh, some of the stamper fish that are in here. Look at it. Fighting fit. Gave a good scrap as well. And uh, I'm not sure what the one I lost on the left rod was. Because I'd only had it on for about 10, 20 seconds, if that. But uh, this one more than makes up for it on a cold January day. It's good to be back cart fishing. And two takes within a couple of minutes of each other. Hopefully we'll have a few more today. And it's good to know that both tactics work. So let's get him back. We're in again. Still got my first one in the net. Let's put him back. Let's see. Let me put this one back quickly. Well, I was just releasing the first fish, about to film on the GoPro, and the right rod, which is what I had the first fish on, went off once again. So I quickly released the other one as I was playing this, and I've rested this one while I got the rod back out, and he's now wriggling away. I'll wait for him to stop. There we go, fish number two. Just into double figures, I'd say, and that's three runs in 20 minutes. So uh, if you find them and get the right presentation and bait out there for them, even in the winter, you can have a few. Fortunately, this fish, uh, its mouth isn't its strong point, so I'll show you this angle. But uh, a fish is a fish on a winter day. That's three fish, well, three runs, two fish in 25 minutes tops. Let's get him back. Hopefully, have a few more. If it carries on like this, I'm gonna have a good day. Well, after the initial flurry, the action has dried up slightly. Um, so I'm just gonna recast the maggot rod, which I put out quite quickly after that second take on the double take. Um, I think the hair is slightly long on that one. So I've tied up another rig for the maggot ball rig. And uh, that's going out with these little PVA bags of crumbed up boily, uh, krill, ground bait stuff, some crushed up pellets and maggots. And that's all going into a bag. And going on to the maggot ball rig, which is just flicking down the margin. So I've had a, three takes, two on the pop-up out midwater and one on the maggot one. So I know that both tactics are working. If it dries up on one or the other, then I'll switch over. But as it stands, there's no need to change anything. So it's tying up this one, as I said. I'm going to put this one back out on the left rod. See if we can have a few more. It's coming up about 11 o'clock, half 11. So it's not even the end of the morning yet. And I've had three runs, which is great for the winter. Let's just hope it continues. There we go, it's taken all afternoon, 
but we finally had another one, right rod, which is the pink pop-up stiff hinge once again, 16 pound, 10 ounce. So a nice mid double. Again, the mouth isn't brilliant, but uh, the rest of it is in top notch condition. I've got a little bit of carp care on where I hooked it, it's slipping back, but happy to have another one. It's been about an hour and a half since my last fish and uh, I brought in the maggot rod and changed it just to a trim down boilie instead on a hair rig, um, KD style, and then put that out with some free offerings around and uh, it's rattled off with another one of the beautiful little stockies like I started the day with and uh, he's just as uh, angry on the mat as he was in the fight. So let's see if we can hold them up for you because like I said these little stockies, it doesn't matter how big they are but they are beautiful, look at that. Looks like this one's been attacked by a cormorant. I've seen a cormorant flying around today and on this side he's definitely got a fairly fresh beak mark on its back so I'll put some carp care on that. But uh, I'm happy to be having another one after quite a while of no fish. So slipping back and maybe have one more but if not I'm happy to end the day I, the way I started it. Happy days. Well we've come to the end of the session and uh, managed the four and lost the one which I'm pretty happy with, first time carp fishing in four months, it's been great to catch a few and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. The sun is just setting behind me, so the temperature is dropping off quite a bit and I've got to be off the lake in about 20 minutes, so the rods are going to be coming in in a second. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, please like the video if you did, add me on Facebook and Instagram, nothing but fishing, and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers for watching.